What's up YouTube? We are out on Beaver Lake in Arkansas and a little bit something different today. We're gonna do hopefully a catch and cook. So we ran some trot lines last night. We're out here to pick them up. Hopefully we got some big old catfish to do a catch and cook. So it should be fun, something different. I know you guys wanna see an eating video, so stay tuned. Hopefully we get some catfish to do a catfish fry. Let's go and check these lines. So the basic trot line a line with hooks on it and you leave it out for catfish overnight or during the day but usually overnight because catfish tend to be more nocturnal and then you come back the next day and see if you caught any so we kind of did this last minute and so for bait we use shrimp and hot dogs catfish enthusiasts would probably not approve of that but shrimp and hot dogs is what we could get at dollar general because we didn't really plan ahead and get any good bait so if you see the line, see the tree moving? We've got one on it, I think. Oh yeah, see the tree moving? That's definitely a fish. So I feel bad because it was not a fish, it's a turtle. So we're gonna get him unhooked and let him go. trying to bite me. That's the log. Relax. <laughs> and he's off. He was really mean. <laughs> so, got the end of the trot line. Wrapped it up around this board. And now we'll go see if we can have some better luck at the next one. Here we go. Well, oh, something's tugging. Wow! We got something. Oh, there we go. We got ourselves a catfish. Good sized one. Good eating sized one, I should say. So we will grab him and put him in the cooler. Two left, fingers crossed. Off we go. We got something, it feels little though. We got ourselves a catfish. <laughs> yeah, boy. He's a crazy guy. Got another one. Perfect eating size cat for the Kula. So we just filled the cooler with ice. It's super cold in there. Toss them in and they pretty much just fall asleep almost instantly. Thought it was shaking the tree, so. Oh, now he's assigned to fight. Oh. <laughs> there he is. Fish, catch and cook. We're in business. 
We got three at least, maybe another one on here, I don't know. But nice cat. He's a good eating sized one. So we got three, which is enough for a good meal for a few people. Three good eating sized ones. Another good eating sized one. Oh, he came off. We lost them. Oh well, we got three good eating sized ones, which is perfect amount for a fish fry. Got a few cats, really good eating sized ones. Pulling the rest of this trout line, and then we're probably gonna do a little bass fishing. So it is the next day. We got some more catfish. The trout lines actually had 10 on it the next time we checked them. And so I filleted them out when I got home. It was late and dark, so got a bunch of fillets. Now I'm just cleaning them up. Main thing with catfish is the fat tastes really strong and the lateral line also tastes strong. So you can see the yellowish right here. I'm just taking that off right there. The yellowish meat has a stronger taste to it and you can see the lateral line. Some people call it the mud line. So we're gonna go through, take the skin off the backside first and then I will come back through and cut them into deep friable sized pieces. to the batter. Now we're ready for the oil. A little bit of lemon. Mmm, mm, so good. Very, very good. Delicious. So good and tasty. Delicious catfish. What is going on? We got our last batch right here, but we got lemon wedge. I love lemon on fried catfish. A little cocktail sauce, a little tartar sauce. Really good. Cornbread as well. And spoon. Some cilantro lime rice. Awesome. So that's the full catch to cook right here. Thanks for tuning in guys. Fun episode, something different. Hope you enjoyed it. Next meet is Prefontaine, so be on the lookout for that. In the meantime, Caged Muscle, promo code Ryan, 15% off. Cameo, I know the track season is ending. A lot of state meets still to happen, so check out Cameo for sending a special message to an athlete, a good luck before the state meet, or say thank you for your coach for all their work this year. So I appreciate it, guys. Have a fantastic day.